Dr. Richard Barr is board certified in diagnostic radiology and oversees ultrasound imaging at his clinic in the Youngstown, Ohio area. Um, our practice offers the whole range of imaging, CTMR, mammography, uh, ultrasound, and PET scanning. So I began working with Siemens about the year 2000 in working with strain elastography. Um, and since then we've watched it evolve and improve. Elastography gives us a new modality to look at tissue pathology or stiffness. We can now quantitate those pathologies where we could not do that before with CT or MR. With ultrasound we can do this very quickly, um, it's patient friendly, um, and we can get the results uh, near real time. Uh, we have found that elastography is invaluable in evaluation of breast masses. Um, we've been using it for five years on every patient. Strain elastography gives you the relative stiffness of images or tissues that are in the field of view. So it's non-quantitative. The one advantage is that as long as you can get a good B-mode image, you can do strain elastography. There was a young woman about 40 who had a palpable mass. Um, she went to her family doctor who also felt the palpable mass. On standard B-mode imaging, we were not able to find any abnormality in her breast. However, when we turned on elastography, it was actually a benign, complicated cyst. And we were able to aspirate the cyst, the mass went away, and the patient was extremely anxious because she had this palpable mass that no one could diagnose. So within a couple minutes, we had diagnosed her and aspirated the cyst and she left uh, with no anxiety. Uh, we've been using the strain elastography for many years. It adds just a few minutes to do, and sometimes it actually may shorten the exam. I really encourage uh, people to really start using elastography. Uh, with the research that's going on, we think elastography is going to take a more and more uh, important role in imaging.